Welcome to a G.I. Joe toy review here on Cobra Island, where this week we're ending Ninja Month with a guy that we did last week, but this is the Dollar General version and the variant. I don't know which one's which, but I'd say this is the original because this is the updated version of version 4 of Snake Eyes with the blue and green, and or the blue and black and gray, and this is the one in green, so I'd say this is the variant. But uh, before we get to looking at this version of Snake Eyes, we're going to do our weekly shout-outs. First off, at uh, back to the media at 48 South Loudon Street here in lovely Winchester, Virginia, where you can have where you can find all your video game needs. And um, while you're there, you can also get a hold of uh, comics and Funko Pops and videos and DVDs, CDs, records. Some cool, they got quite a few cool looking stuff down there. And then, if you're in and need the toys and collectibles, you can shoot right across the street, kind of diagonal from them to uh, Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. Where I've been looking at a lot of Transformers and a couple and a GI Joe that got this month from Time Travelers. Unfortunately, I you know, even though this is the Dollar General exclusive, I did get this from uh, eBay, but uh, reasonable price on eBay, like $36 a piece. So that's pretty cool, but, uh, but, you know, it's pretty cool to get them, but, you know, hey, if you got counseling you need to get, you can go to 48, or 133 West Pescowan Street, suite number 10, to Healing Grace Counseling Services, and see Robert Brown, he's a very good listener, him and I've got a 15-year friendship, you know, congrats to him for putting up with me for as long as he has, you know, now that takes a lot of work right there. <laughs> but uh that's pretty cool you know that we've been friends that long so he's a good counselor so go ahead and check him out if you need counseling but uh if by chance you need comic books like I do I'm a comic book geek but I mainly collect just G.I. Joe comics but uh you can go to Four Color Fantasies and you can get Marvel IDW DC you know, you get all points in between. You can get all forms of uh, comic book needs, old titles, new issues, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. So go ahead and check them out at Four Color Fantasies on 80 Weems Lane. But if you need banking and you're in the Winchester area, I highly recommend um, that you go visit Bank of Clark County. Where you get all your banking needs done at a good rate. That You know, you do a, min you do a minimum of $100 for a checking account. For the basic checking, but there's no uh, fees or no, they don't charge you no fees or anything of the sort. So definitely go ahead and check them out. They do have a good fraud protection program where they notify you by phone call if there was a fraud, fraud, fraudulent purchase on your debit card. So yeah, it's a good service. That I've actually actually had that happen before, and they helped me out and got me a new debit card, protected my money, you know, and all that good stuff. So uh, go ahead and check them out. And while you're in the, and now that we're done with our shout outs, let's take a look at the Snake Eyes figures. We're starting off with the regular. You know, you got the upraised G.I. Joe logo, two foot pegs. There's no name on the front. But I mean, if you went to the store and didn't see the package, his name was Snake Eyes. Or you didn't grow up on the G.I. Joe vintage 1980 stuff, you would not know this was Snake Eyes. But yeah, this is Snake Eyes. And he also comes with a black sword, which is the only other weaponry accessory he's got. But if you look at the green one, he also comes with a figure stand, upraised G.I. Joe logo. But the sword that he comes with is actually green. To match the green of his web gear. But that's pretty cool. So we'll just look at the colors of this guy first. Where you can see the red hockey mask, or the red visor. With the silver hockey mask, black hood. Uh, grayish web gear. Blue in the sleeves, blue in the uh, calves. The rest of him is black, even his boots are black. You know, this would not be the typical look of Snake Eyes, but you know it is what it is. So let's take a look at his articulation. His head does clearly rotate the full 360. You know, his arm, like typical 25th anniversary G.I. Joe's, his arm can lift to about here. It can rotate the full 360. It can bend at the elbow, rotate all the way around. He can swivel at his wrist. He does have the app crutch feature, but it is hidden underneath the belt. 
uh, his legs can basically do just about a full split. He can lift his leg to a very about here. You know, he's got the double knee joint. You know, and he's got the uh, ankle pivot as well as the swivel. You know, that's pretty much him. You know, and uh, take a look at the other guy. The other snake eyes, well, everywhere there's red or blue or gray has been turned to green on this guy. I'm going to show you articulation because he's got the same articulation as, uh, that's the blue and the blue snake eyes. I call him snake eyes blue and this is snake eyes green. But, uh, same articulation, same, you know, average or around the middle. So let's take a look at them both on, uh, in, in a battle stance. So here they are in battle gear. With their swords standing in motion. You know, like I said, you wouldn't tell if this was Snake Eyes if you didn't know anything about the product or the toy line unless you grew up on it. Then you can actually tell. But, uh, this is a good figure. It is a good figure. It's not the Snake Eyes, but it's a good figure. I rank like them as middle tier just because it takes away from the aesthetic of what Snake Eyes really was with the all black. Uh, the all black uniforms. They added a little bit of color to them, which wasn't snake eyes, but uh, nonetheless, it's still a snake eyes figure. And like I said in other snake eyes videos, it's always good to have snake eyes in your collection. It's good to have these guys if you have other snake eyes. You know, it would really bring some color to that snake eyes stand or snake eyes area that you display them at. You know, so it's good to have, you know, different versions of snake eyes, depending on what climate and area he's in. For the battle against Cobra and Storm Shadow. But, uh, it's always good to have these. These, like I said, these are middle tier. You can see this one in a review on ACC 788's channel. That one came actually with more accessories than this guy did. But, uh, there was no vintage one of this one. You know, unfortunately. But, uh, you could probably find them other of, of these versions on other channels. I'm not sure where the, where the looks. I never looked. <laughs> like the, uh. Red Ninja video, but uh, these are pretty cool. You know, check out any video you can, see if you're willing to make the purchase. I would, if it was up to me, in my opinion, I'd make the purchase. As you could tell, I already did. <laughs> but you know, it's good video. I mean, good. Uh, it's good Snake Eyes filter. <laughs> you know, but uh, that's it for this month on Cobra Island for Ninja Month. Tune in uh, Sunday as we start Beast Wars Month. On Cobra Island. And then the Hodgepodge. Uh, G.I. Joe videos for the month of May. Which I'm actually going to start off with a ninja. But uh, so check that out. And see y'all in the next one. Peace, love and hair grease. And as for Cobra Island. Now you know. And knowing is head to battle. See you in the next one.